Alrighty y'all, so in today's video, I'm going to show you guys everything about the collections and the favorite items because it's a very, very confusing for a lot of people. So I'm gonna be talking about everything everything you need to know how to how it works how to get them all that good stuff in this video right um i have i want to say 100 of the information right i just cannot tell you what happens if i guess i could actually because you already have that confirmed so let, let me let me break it down for you so obviously when you open up the game the first thing you want to do is go to your little missions here right if you go to your missions there is going to be a mission i already claimed it but there's going to be a mission for anybody who has passed chapter six um four right chapter six stage four if you pass that there are going to be a mission there that you can claim for your treasure i'm gonna call it treasures because that's what they were called before but your favorite item treasures yeah 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 you get those materials there so if you go into your item box and you actually go to your materials you will get these you get 10 elite you know maintenance kits uh 20 intermediate maintenance kits and then be uh, 50 beginner maintenance kits and then you will actually get a box in your consume three of them where you would open it and then you would get three collection items now thing the collection items are the items that actually go on your regular nikkei's do that do not have treasures right so there is a collection item for each type of nikkei right you cannot just put any collection item on a nikkei there is a specific one for each individual nikkei so if i go to laplace for example if i click on the item right here i do not have the items for laplace i don't have either the r or the sr1 i don't even have her favorite item yet right but if i go to somebody like crown i have one of hers right so if i go to crown i'm actually able to put the um r1 on crown because i have it now you do need to know if you do put the r1 on crown yes you can put the sr1 after on crown but the moment you take away the r1 it's going to be removed so once you put it on it's going to be on the character forever until you switch it out with the sr and then when you switch it out the r1 that was on the character gets removed right and i'm assuming when those characters get favorite items then the favorite items would remove the sr and then you would have the favorite item on the character as the main collection item right so essentially a uh, favorite item is basically just a more collection item right so in terms of how you farm the collection items and stuff like that right now it's only going to be through solo raids like those boxes and stuff like that but you actually can farm materials for it you can actually farm favorite items and all that stuff i'm going to tell you guys how you do it now so when you you know figure out all these things what you want to do is actually go to your outpost right everything is locked behind your tactics academy if you are not aware they actually added a bunch of new missions for the tactics academy they're not really hard all you have to do is be up to like i think yeah chapter 18 right not 13 you have to be up to chapter 18 so you have to study the previous one and you have to be up to chapter 1833 to unlock all the current um tactics academy once you do that right there's different ones right so add dispatch missions for favorite items right um you get some extra slots some increased rewards and interception right increase the priority of advanced dispatch missions for collection items yada 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 but you get this one this is the one you want this is the one you want 13-3 you want to get all the way to 13-3 so that they add the dispatch uh dispatch dispatch missions for the favorite items that's what you want to do right once you've completed all that and you got your 13-3 for the tactics academy you will find it in your bulletin board so as you see i already claimed or started doing some of them here are some of the materials i'm going to explain what the beginner maintenance kit is for i'm going to explain what all these stuff are for in a second so basically you just do your bulletin board and you just have to wait once you you know claim it yada 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 that's it you're gonna have to wait till the next day and stuff like that now once you unlock 13 3 for your tactics academy you will have access to this right here right there's two different ones right they're actually different i just selected this one which was a mistake um because basically it was just a mistake but what these are it's it's a box that will give you random materials for the treasures right so when i did it i had the option to pick either three of these boxes or a total of three of these uh train track sets which is specifically for diesel so i don't know how much of these you do need to create the favorite item i am going to assume it is three i'm not sure exactly how much it is we'll figure that out once i get the materials but basically you do your it's basically a two-hour thing so i want to say 
oh, it's not going to be an everyday thing. So you're not going to be able to actually get the favorite items instantly. I was thinking, oh, after two hours, I'll be able to go ahead and farm it again. No, it's not going to be something you can get right on day one. It's something you actually have to farm every single day. So once you get these materials, these are materials you use for the favorite items. So this one right here is for Exia. This one right here is for Laplace. This one right here is for Freema. This one here is for... um these one when you get the amount you need then you will use it create the favorite items now let me go back to these right the uh little maintenance kits here this is a box that just you just drops random ones and then you also have the automatic box now these are basically just level materials for your collections right your collections are actually going to have materials i'm actually going to put one on a character just so i can show you guys um how they work right unfortunately i don't want to waste it i don't want to put it on crown yet but i'm going to put it i mean i could put it on crown for now and then i can just switch it out later um with the r1 but i want to put it on somebody who i know will benefit from it and like really won't Let's put on Haran. I think Haran might have... No, Haran doesn't have one. I need to find somebody who has one. Give me a second. Here we go. Blanc. Blanc has one. So I have one for Blanc. Remember, they are random, and the only way you're going to be able to get these boxes for the collection items, um, you can also combine them, right? Once you have a certain amount, if you have way too much, you can combine them to get, you know... Um, either the sr ones or it's just the sr ones or the actual upgrade materials itself but i'm going to put one on um blanc here to show you guys so they do have effects right so when blanc gets this she's going to have her defense increased by 25 percent and then damage done when attacking the core is going to be increased by five percent right so i would probably want to put that on somebody else not blanc actually let me figure out who i want to put that on here so this one is for the maid soda this one is for the maid soda right here the new character we could put one on her right sure so this one again they are all different this one now normal attack damage multiplier increase so they're different for each weapon right this is a shotgun based one these ones i have to own it to show you guys what they do i mean i can show you guys later um because there is a nikkeipedia for these but i'm going to use it um it says when you equip the collection item it will belong to the nikkei permanently it won't um, but it will. So this R1 right here is going to be on the character forever until I change it with the... Uh, so it's going to give you guys this. If you guys want to read it, all this stuff, already know how this works. So I'm going to skip it, right? But you can change it for a higher rarity. So it is on the character permanently, but you are able to change it for a higher rarity. And when you do get the higher rarity one, it now becomes obviously the normal attack multiplier and then the defense up. And you also get damage reduction and cover HP buffs, right? So it is different for, you know, every character. Once you get it, you can click maintain and that's where these materials come out, right? So then you would use these materials to level up your arts. Now, I probably, obviously, we don't know much, much about these. So I would recommend not to just go ahead and waste everything you need. Because as you see, it says it requires 10 um so here i could use 10 this is a 100 rate 100 rate these also do give you stats and it looks like a big jump just for one level from phase zero to phase one gives you 5,000 hp that's huge right so really think about who you're using this on right i used it on obviously unfortunately soda right i mean I'm going to use soda with the shotgun team so it's not a waste but for you guys definitely use this on the right characters if i were you i would say wait till solar raid um this is actually a good way to have more people focus on solar raid because now you're going to want to farm solar raid in order to get these materials right um or at least these collections so there is that once you get it you can level them up i'm not going to level up a r1 obviously um i want all srs for everybody but boom you get it and you get more stats and stuff like that again you can actually check out what all the collections do and stuff like that if you have not go ahead and check it so boom this is what ars get arsr ones get the damage when attacking core the defense everybody gets the defense the damage reduction and the cover hp the only thing that's different is the first one so for ars they get damage done when attacking core right when it comes to the machine guns they get max ammo capacity when it comes to the rocket launchers they get charge damage multiplier right when it comes to the shotguns they get normal attack damage multiplier when it comes to the smgs they end up getting normal attack uh normal attack damage multiplier and then when it comes to the sniper rifles they get the charge damage multiplier so it's different for every type of weapons um but yeah you want the sr ones essentially and the ways you get the sr ones i'm going to assume is simply you get the r ones and then you combine them for a chance at the sr one right i don't know if in the box you are able to get an sr one it didn't look like it actually from when i checked the probability i believe you need four of these and when you get four of these then you can exchange it for some of the sr ones and then get the sr ones up so honestly the r1 should be fodder 
you should probably combine them for the sr ones when you do get these again you have to probably wait till solar raid since he said they don't have the specific content to farm these right now but they said right now it's going to be through solar raid and then they're going to add a content in the future where you can actually farm up or at least attempt in order to get more of these collections that you would then use combine and then get the sr and then place the sr on the characters for the ones who do not have the um favorite items aka the treasures right again since you have the r1 on them i can't switch out the r1 for an sr1 when i do get it but until then that r1 is there forever i cannot take it off i can't do nothing like that right um so yeah and then for the favorite items it's going to be the exact same way when you have the materials for it right boom you see here these are the favorite items right here this is what laplace does her favorite items you the big a hundred thousand or three hundred thousand increase in stats uh for hp nine thousand increase attack like that's big y'all that's huge um so yeah when you get these by all means have fun but hopefully this should explain everything you need to know about the treasures and the collections how they actually work because it's very very confusing at first but it's very very simple once you guys get, get the hang of it so for now it's going to be your boys the Uxus. let me know if this was helpful for you guys maybe i'll make a guide on who you should be giving these uh treasures to first like priorities it should probably just be the better characters or the characters you use but if you guys want me to make that video let me know and i will make like a tier list video for you guys um it's going to be your boys the Uxus. thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video like and subscribe it helps boy out a lot and i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out peace